Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Skitterin, and today we have a multiplayer video. Well, not a multiplayer video. Two-player co-op for Seven Days to Die. So let's just hop right into it. Alright, so what did you want to do, Ron? Uh, the spikes were looking pretty beat up out here. Or at least on the, the other side there. Well, we were on, what, day eight? <laughs> and they were swarming, like, almost all night. Yeah. Do we have any more wood, or do we need to get some? I have a hundred planks on me, but that's not nearly that many of the spikes. I found 47 spikes or so in our storage chest, so I'll go ahead and start off with those. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll just make mine. Just make a lot, because we're going to need a lot more. Well, I, I think this is going to be like 500 or something from the amount. Or, oh, I had spikes on me, so it's going to be more than 500. Picking up my mines, just so I don't accidentally step on them. Yeah, it kind of scared me earlier when I just approached the area. I just started avoiding that corner. <laughs> I don't know, though. They're not really affected, effective, even against the basic zombies. I, it almost seems like they're a waste right now until they have their damage increased. Oh, no! Go out and loot my stuff! What side were you on? Uh, the side away from the water. No, oh, and I spawned in that damn house I had my last sleeping bag in. Oh, and I just died too. We're both awesome. Star players. I'm dying again so I can go back to our spawn point. Hopefully it works this time. Oh, and I just took out some And it babies. did. Running over our crops? What's wrong with you? Well, I think it's safe to say all our shit's gone at this point. I sure as hell hope my shit's not gone. It despawned right in front of me as I got near it. Oh well. I guess let's chop down some more trees and get some more spikes. Yeah, I guess we really don't need guns and stuff. Well, I I gotta go make a hatchet. I need to be more careful when placing these damn things. It's so nice you can pick them back up. Man, that reinforced concrete wall held up perfectly, too. I don't see a crack in any of it. Yeah, I really didn't believe you when, when you said you had heard it was that strong. Well, it's nice that it is. Feel like Chuck Norris over here punching a tree. Chuck Norris would not worry himself with small things such as trees. He would be punching at our 
reinforced concrete down there. Actually, I think we've got it filled out now. There's some damaged spikes down there, but we can fix them after the next night cycle. Man, I don't have shit left. Yeah. Got like painkillers, and that's like the only thing of value. Uh, let me drop this stuff for you. Hey, Taylor, pick up this stuff before it despawns. Alright, sweet, thanks. I grabbed one of the shotguns and some uh, shells with it, so I think I should be good on weapons. I lost 200 shells when I died. That sucks. A nice little blueberry farm. It's all grown up. Some asshole doesn't keep stepping on them. It's nice that they just keep growing even after you pick them. I think that was one of the downsides to Minecraft. It's nice that they respawn. Yeah, and the I don't know if you ate any of the blueberries before you left, but they were you've got to eat a ton of them. Yeah, but with the amount we're growing, we should be fine. Like I haven't even been picking the potatoes. Well, the blueberries will fill you. It takes a long time to get the water from them, though. Yeah, that is true, but at least they give you both. Alright, well, since we had issues with the map resetting to day one, I wonder if it reset all the item spawns, too. I'm going to go over to these houses across the river and check them out again. I think I might be at the bottom. Holy shit. You remember that small horde that was congregating over across the river? Yeah. It just keeps getting bigger. Maybe we'll have to do something about that. I'm going over here to do something about it right now. Zombie genocide. <laughs> Did you just I just a tree down. Yeah, and I just killed zombies doing it. I've done that. Uh, I, th I think I'm at the bottom of the map here because it's a different color. There now, hopefully we won't have to listen to that fucking noise they make all night. Did you hear me? What color is it? It's like a blue gravelly looking. Yeah, that's that's probably where the bottom is then. Oh, look at him. He's just having a seat. How cute.
I wonder what they meant in the uh, Kickstarter that they're gonna make the blocks like not <laughs> well, not blocky. It's gonna be interesting to see how the game looks after they do that, or if it'll even work. Uh, it'll probably just try to smooth itself out and then fill in better when you add more blocks. I don't know, some things I see it working on better on than others. Yeah, it looks like all the item spawns reset too. Huh. I'm in a house, <laughs> and the locals aren't happy that I'm here. Uh, I'm on my way. I just need to run out the sunlight before I die. Take some of my pills, that was close. Yeah, how do you like me now, you slow bastards? Slowly making my way across the lake. Now that's something I haven't seen before, a hollowed out tree stump. Where you can store I items. I've seen that one more up by that first uh, house we were. I was trying to get to. <laughs> How long have you been walking across the lake for? That must take forever. Since I said I was on the way. Wow. That's an interesting effect. Shoot the water. It's almost like a fountain. Yeah, it's like a little blue firework going off. Man, when those cars blow up, they sure do blow up, don't they? Yep. Alright, let's follow around the lake and see what these houses have. Oh, I got that sniper rifle in that, that one house we set our spawn up in earlier. Nice. It was, uh... In, in the safe. You know, now that I'm looking at the time, we may want to clear this house and start going back. Or just stay here? Doesn't have an attic. I'm sure we'll die if we stay here. If it's day one, we'll be fine. Okay, here's what we'll do. You stay here, and I'm gonna run back to our house. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, though? Are you gonna stay? Why not? Because if I go back, then I gotta come back here and... But we just looted it. There's nothing else there. What about the other houses farther up around here? Well, this house down here by me is the only house in the area we haven't looted.
I must really suck at aiming if I didn't kill that one. Of course, now we start finding all the shotgun ammo. I actually need it now. Well, not now, but I only grabbed like four or five when I left. I wonder if the only things you can grow at this point are potatoes and blueberries, because that's all I seem to find as far as seeds go. All right, now I'm going to start heading back. See how long it takes you to go around and be attracting all the zombies versus me cutting across the lake and not attracting it any attention. You realize the zombies run on top of the water at full speed, right? I did not. They just Jesus told you. Yeah, they do the Jesus run right at your ass. You beat me there. And I didn't attract any zombies. That one sounded kind of close. <laughs> it looked kind of close, too. It's nice though, when you shoot out into the water from a distance, you can actually see the spread of the ammo of the pellets. Nice little touch. And our whole garden of blueberries are grown again. Ready for me to trample all over them. You better not. These are my babies, goddammit. They're already like half of blueberry berry plants. I just I think I'm just gonna trample the shit out of most of these potatoes and plant blueberries. Do you have any issue with that? Did just be more uh, blueberries. Well, I mean, we've already got like a fucking million potatoes in our storage, right? I'm just saying it's gonna be more blueberries. We need blueberries for water. Okay, we'll leave half of the potato shit there. Do you have a hoe on you by any chance? I could have one. Let me find the recipe. Come on, push him off. <laughs> oh, he didn't die. God damn it, fatty, die. They're not falling for it, man. They're getting too smart. Oh, yeah. Hoe that shit. I'll hoe it good. I'm gonna hoe it, then plop my seed right down in it. I wonder if the uh, plants will grow inside with no light. Uh, I'm sure they will. Got enough stuff to make more reinforced concrete if we need it. We do need more dirt, though. 
Actually, maybe not. At the rate these plants are growing, we probably don't. Yeah, it does take a lot to get your food up, though, but the fact that it gives you both food and water is just too much of an advantage over the potatoes. I guess if the server keeps resetting to day one, we could just keep resetting the server and then building a network of tunnels to raid every house. Without ever going on the surface. Or, or build them above the surface so that everything had just spawned below us. So did you make a video earlier? Yeah, I made a single player video. And holy shit, you would not believe the amount of weapons I found. Like in the first 10 minutes of playing the game, I found every single gun, including the sniper rifle. And I found enough shotgun ammo that it makes what we have look like crap now. It was, it was a ton. I highly doubt it makes the 200 I made look in the thing like crap. Well, maybe not 200, but you didn't make those legit. You can't make them legit. Well, just because they haven't added it to the game yet. I kind of like the fact that the ladder, I feel like I'm just going down an elevator shaft. <laughs> you just slide down it slowly. These things are practically growing faster than I can pick all of them. What we might want to do is just make a... To, if they'll grow underground, just build a farm at the bottom of the map down here. Whether it be a really long one or whatever, so you don't have to worry about stepping on them. And then uh, just move it down there and then free that up for other shit up, up top. Wow, yeah, you really did get down to bedrock, huh? Oh, did you go past me? Yeah, so can you not destroy this at all? I hid at it for a little while. 
I didn't try that. Nope, not even a scratch. This must be bedrock then. Yeah, they must have reduced the damage at some point on the shotgun because it used to be quicker than this. So are you just going down and strip mining, or are you uh, just I going was... for whatever valuable materials you come in contact with? Well, originally I was digging the hole, or I started strip mining, and then I was like, well, I'll dig the hole, and then go after what I see, and then I was like, screw it, I'll just start just grabbing, you know, whatever I feel like I need at that moment. God, that's really gonna bother me. They really need to make these these uh, barbed wire fences wrap around corners properly. That's like a that's a gap big enough that someone could jump through if they had to. Makes me wish, like, Sean had the game or somebody else we knew. Yeah, this is kind of fun. And hopefully the patches get rolled out really quick. That's the only thing that's bothering me about TDL right now. But, you know, once, once they get that new engine put in and stable. Shouldn't be an issue anymore. See, this is way calmer than that first night we had here. I know. But what night was it, or what day was it by the time we started over here? Wasn't it like already day three or four? Yeah, probably. Probably day three. Man, it really does look like a compound now, between the reinforced concrete, the barbed wire, and the spikes. Just like prison. 